Hey everybody, thanks for tuning back into OTRAM's YouTube channel, your source for Land Cruiser repair and modification videos. Uh, on today's episode, we're going to be installing a set of Dobinson caster plates. Um, these are lightly used. They came off one truck and they're going on this truck behind us. So yeah, that's the plan for today. Please remember to subscribe to our videos below if you like them. And if you really like us, uh, throw us some support on Patreon. So let me move the camera down under the truck and I'll get you set up to start putting these on. Okay, now that we're here under the truck at the radius arms, uh, the first thing I did, and I did it off camera because the way this is racked, I couldn't get the, the camera back there, is uh, I loosened up the frame mount side of the radius arms. And on the frame mount side, they loosen from the nut. On the axle side, they loosen from the bolt. Uh, on the nut side on these, there's little prongs that dig into this bracket that lock, basically Loctite it. Uh, so you have to loosen it from the bolt head. And it's the opposite on the frame side. You loosen it from the nut and the prongs are on the bolt head. So those are already broken loose on both sides. Um, and I've cracked, I've started cracking the radius arm, lower brackets loose with the big breaker bar. And as you can see, once you get it to loosen up a little bit, this will actually start to, to spin. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them, but you can see there's four teeth in there that bite to keep these from spinning. The first time I did this job, I was trying to loosen them from the nut side and just couldn't break them free and just could not figure out what was going on. We'll go ahead and take this back bolt out. That guy's out. Let me grab a punch real quick. We'll just use a brass drift to knock these through. We'll be installing new bolts with the new plates. So this isn't super critical, but in case we ever want to use these bolts again, And sometimes these bolts hang up on the threads and just don't really want to come all the way out. There we go. And then they kind of jerk suddenly when they do. But since we've already loosened the frame side, we can push that down a little bit um, and get it out of our way. And actually, I'm going to undo the ABS lines from that just to give me a little bit more room. And the, uh, the ABS wires just clamp onto the sides here. And you can just unbolt them off the side of the bracket. And then drop that all the way out. And this style of caster plate has this washer reinforcer welded onto it with a flat. We need to nip the bottom of this bracket off so that this bracket fits up against it. So we're going to have to mark where to cut. So the easiest way I've found to mark that is to just paint a little bit of gear marking compound across the bottom there and we'll do it on the other side too and then we'll grab the new bolts and 
loosened loosely. Set that up there. Then you can kind of rock that plate. And actually, I'm going to do the other side too while I got the bolts in there. And you can see where it, line, it made a mark in our yellow compound where we need to trim that. So let me grab some safety glasses and cutoff wheel and I'll zip those down. again and we're good on this side and we clear on this side so we're we're nice and happy there so now we can start putting this together for real So we can slip this spacer that comes in the kit up in here. And that goes in the top bolt hole. And we've taken our rear bolt out. And this is the part where it starts to get fun when you're trying to jockey everything back in here. So we're gonna loosely put these plates on for now, just to hold everything in place. until I undo the other side. And when I undo the other side, I'll be able to roll this back up into alignment um, and get everything. Right now, it, the other side's holding us at the stock height. So let me move over and do the other side, and then I'll bring you back to finishing up this side. So we've got everything in here now. I went ahead and did the far side uh, because you can't get the radius arms back in when one of them's at a different caster angle than the other. Uh, I had intended to video uh, putting everything back in and getting all the bolts in, uh, but it ended up sliding back in fairly easily, so I didn't get it on video. But I figured I'd go back and kind of give you guys the tips on how to make everything line back up. Uh, the first thing I ended up having to do on this one was undoing the sway bar brackets. He's got a lift, but doesn't have sway bar drop brackets. So the front drive shaft was resting against the sway bar and at full droop, I couldn't get the axle to roll back far enough uh, to get the back bolts to align. Uh, I, I put these front radius arm mounts back in with the rear arms still hooked to the frame. Sometimes if it's really being a struggle to get these front ones to line up, it's easier to undo the back frame mounts get the 
get the radius arm all bolted up at this end loosely, and then you're just dealing with lining up that single hole in the back rather than trying to juggle all three of these. Uh, with the truck being on our short rise lift, it's hard to do that because there's not enough room to swing the radius arm down in the back. So what we ended up doing is taking a long pry bar and you can stick it in, in right here and either have somebody else pull up or use a floor jack and you can pry up and get the axle to roll backwards until everything lines up. This method's kind of sketchy unless you really trust your pry bar. So it's easier to do it with removing the rear radius arm brackets, but we ended up going this route. Uh, and so we've got everything in here and I just need to torque everything down. It's 127 foot pounds on these front three and then 130 foot pounds on the frame side and I've just got the nuts on here loosely. I need to take these back off and put some red Loctite in. So I'm gonna put some red Loctite on these and torque everything down. And then I like to clean up this leading edge here and run a bead of weld just to kind of tie everything back in together. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna torque everything and clean this up and then I'll bring you back for the weld bead to show you that part and then we'll, we'll do the final assembly. Okay, so I've gone ahead and torqued up all the front radius arm bolts. Uh, what I forgot to mention before I cut off in the last segment was you can't torque the frame side brackets until the truck is sitting back on the ground because you don't want to tighten it with the axle drooped because then when it goes back to sitting at ride height, you'll, you'll tear the, uh, the bushings. So I haven't tightened the frame side yet, only the front ones. And then you don't have to do any weld on here. Uh, I like to do it just as some added insurance. And normally I would MIG weld these, uh, but the TIG welder was already out. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit them with the TIG real quick. And then we'll carry on. And then I'll go ahead and do the other side off camera and bring you back once it's on the ground and we'll put the sway bar brackets back in and torque the rear frame brackets. Okay, so I got the front, you know, welded up and painted and then I would just figured I'd come under here and show you. I undid the bolts here and here to undo this ABS harness so we could get more droop out of the axle and then it's hard to see, but these two sway bar bolts I undid on either side to drop the sway bar loose uh, so that I could get more, more play out of the axle. And now we just have to tighten up the frame mounts, these guys here, now that we're back on the ground. And again, those are 130. There's that one. There we go. These are so much fun to do laying on the low lift with the uh, support bar it in the back. <laughs> yeah. 
So there we go. Uh, that's doing caster correction plates on an 80 series Land Cruiser. Uh, hopefully you found that useful. Um, if you did, please remember to subscribe below. And if you found it super useful, uh, check the link for our Patreon site. Um, you can help support us making new videos that way. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks.